Are you tired of whiffing your shots? Do you want aim like the young goat, Monacy? In this video, I'll show you the top three custom maps that'll make you the sharpest in the server. For the map coming in third, we have Fast Aim and Reflex Training. This map is a classic coming back from CSGO. It's a personal favorite of mine to try and work on your tracking. CS players in general need to work on their tracking, I find, and in CS2 with people running around in this sub tick business, it's like tracking is a little bit more important than it was in CSGO. So I highly recommend this map and that's why it's coming in third. Valve actually DM'd me and told me that one of the ways you can improve your aim is by subbing to my channel and liking the video. Number two. Uleticals Aimbots. That's right, coming in second is Uleticals Aimbots. It's back from CSGO, it's here in CS2, and it's quintessential for your warm-up experience. Some of the main features of this map include the 100 Aimbots Challenge, which, you know, there's world records of, but it also helps you give yourself an understanding of where you are on the day. If you're a little bit slower than usual, maybe it's worth doing the extra bit of aim warm-up. It's an extremely versatile map, but not as good as number one. Now let's stop wasting time. Let's jump into this. Of course, the number one greatest aim map currently in CS2 is... Boom, max sub button. Make sure you press it. Also like the video. Love you dearly. Thanks for watching. Now we'll get onto the real number one map. And coming in as the big time number one CS2 aim map of all time currently at the moment in the game. It's CSGO Hub CS Stats training map. There's a few main reasons why this one has edged out aimbots to sit at the top right now. One of which is the diversity of modes. You have range, you have rush, and you have shuffle mode. All of these modes are great to train different forms of your aim. The range mode, of course, is just gonna be a bit more static, right? You're gonna be looking to keep your crosshair at head level. You're gonna be going for flicks more so than going for spray downs, but that's just the beginning of this map. In CSGO, the rush mode was Monacy's go-to for a warm-up, and you know how sharp he is, which is exactly why you're going to want this in your routine as well. And then, of course, there's the shuffle mode. So in this mode, not only are the bots gonna be shuffling the whole time, but they're also changed in elevation. They're gonna be up on things. They're gonna be down in pits, on headshot lines, you name it. There's a few more things that just make you keep on thinking more than just shooting some bots running at you. Once again, thank you very much for watching the video. I appreciate it greatly. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And if you don't agree with the top three list that I've brought to you here in this video, let me know down in the comments what your top three are. Thanks. See you next time.